just bought a bike with this barrel on and it's 58 mil the piston is 58 mil or it might be a bit over um try to scrape the top off and actually i can't see some right there down there if you can make it out ah. 58.4 if you can see it on there it's there 58 point 58.4 piston anyway that's it in a bar and that's a 56 standard millimeter one i'm just gonna because some mix some mix hit that and this is where the power valve is. I think the power valve being skimmed. So it didn't hit the piston would have been a 58mm bore, by 58.4 bore. So the power valve must have been skimmed, but um maybe that's what's hit that. But I'm gonna take it out. That's what's hit that. I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna put a a standard power valve in. What hasn't been shaped out of the 56 mil and see see how far it sticks out of the 58 millimeter bore. Let's so we'll take this take this power valve out now. out from the soft should do there's uh not be should be two doubles probably be on the other side and not on there neither and that side just just push that out with your finger it pops out so it's it we'll have a look at this we'll have a look at this power bar So it hasn't had the dowels in, so it could have been moving. That's what could have hit the piston. But anyway, we'll let's we'll put the we'll put this power valve in. So we'll just slide this off in first. Goes on that side. Just pushes in. Then you've got the two doubles. them line up put the ball in that should be tight enough So that's the valve fully open when that black bit lines up with the circle behind. When you start your bike it drops back like that and then as your rev it goes up to there to full throttle up they'll fully open. But that's it there. Yeah. I can see. Just try it with the piston. And jam straight away there. Oh, that's in the 
pole valve hasn't even like before you start on the pole valve lined up with that as soon as you kick it over that drops back so that's look if I put it there open let me see it was dropped back watch there jammed there and that won't move any further look how hard I'm pushing down on it there look at me forms Just shows you do need to skim your valve. I'll try and get a picture of it. I'll see it up now. Right, so that's that's open there. See, so just see it popping out on the left. So that's why you've got to skim your power valve. I know I've made another video, but this was better because it's a 58mm a bore with a standard power valve that hasn't been skimmed down. Anyway, I hope this helps because see if some bike shop reboard your reboard your um, bore up. And like your power valve goes wrong with the on full throttle. So it's missing the piston there. That's where it is at full throttle. What happens when the ball finally wears back and you're going full throttle? Then you let your throttle off and that drops back and clips your piston. And you and you're going fast, you could have a crash. So that's why it's best to do your power valve anyway. I've just to go and put this in then as I've asked people. I've had people ask, sorry, if you go open the top up, if you put in a bigger piston, bigger bore. Anyway, this is exactly where I can get it. That one there is 59.2. These aren't very good ones, so it might be 57. We met the ones broke, I've ordered some more. We'll measure the one on there, the one with the 58.4. Piston in. I don't know what size bore that will be. If anybody knows and they watch this video, just write in the comments what bore it'll be because I only thought they went up to 58. Then yeah, I'm just resting. Resting that on there. And that on there, and that there is actually the same. So that head hasn't been skimmed bigger for the fifty-eight millimeter point four piston. So I just just hope that clears up some things for some people. Next video, I've got a. Three BN bottom end with a three BN barrel, and on the three BN bottom end, I'm gonna put this three MBO barrel because if people have asked that the stroke's different and it is, and I'll just do things see if maybe like with this on the three BN bottom end, so if all the piston pops out the top and stuff like that when it's a top dead center. And if you watch my channel for an update on the DDR I'm doing, there's the cases. These bearings is in. I'm waiting for that bearing. I ordered them wrongly. Ordered that bearing, the same as that balancer shaft bearing. That one's smaller. Anyway, that's the bearing I was waiting from, the MR1 for £20. All the cases has been all looking good in that. Just a quick look at the bike. Been cleaning it up and stuff. Just ordered some new nuts, some folders and stuff like that. I've still got some more coming. But um all I'm waiting on is the other part of what's been painted. Got all Yamaha gaskets because I'm selling it on so I'm 
using all the proper stuff, all the deer stuff. They're all I'm waiting for is the oil seals and that bearing. If they come tomorrow, the rebuild video will be up, and then the video will be up of it into the bike, and then the video of the bike running. Alright, thanks for watching.